Hello dear friends, my name is Brother Feblin, also known as Brother Spirit. I'm checking in from Plum Village Monastery in France, where I live and train and teach uh, mindfulness meditation, um, along with about 200 of my brothers and sisters. We're all students of Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh. And today I wanted to share a little bit about um, the practice of bringing the mind back to the body to quiet the thinking, uh, maybe even stop the thinking if we're lucky. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the heart of our practice here in Plum Village. And um, you may like to, to give it a go, see how it works for you. So, um, we talk quite a lot about. Uh, coming home to ourselves, so bringing the mind back to the body, uh, because uh, the mind has a tendency to run around, sometimes running to the past, maybe with some regrets, or running to the future, anxieties about our future are easy to have these days, or we may be completely consumed by our projects, and um, and then we don't have a chance to live our lives deeply. So um, for us, we find that the best way to uh, come back to the present moment is to breathe and to smile. And uh, why is that? What's so great about breathing and smiling? Well, one thing is that um, our breath, and the sensations of the breath and the sensations of the body are guaranteed to be in the present moment. So as long as we are with the sensations of the breath, then our mind is in the present moment. And you may like to try that to, to see how that goes. Uh, we also have the practice of bringing the mind back to the body. We know ultimately that mind and body are one, but in the modern world we tend to be quite alienated from our bodies. We may even forget about them completely and there could be a lot of tension that accumulates in the body. So it's nice to have uh, practices that help us to relax, and to restore peace. Uh, so if we want to uh, have peace, then we better have peace in our bodies. And if we want to be able to meditate, then it's going to be hard if our bodies are filled with tension, pain, discomfort. So uh, we have to know how to restore our freshness, restore our ease and freedom. And one lovely way to do this is the practice of uh, total relaxation or a guided body scan. You may have experienced this at the end of a yoga practice. It's sometimes called corpse pose when you lie on the ground and you scan your entire body. And um, if you are interested in Finding out more about this practice, you can find uh, lots of guided body scan meditations in our app, which is free, uh, in all the usual places. Uh, we have some wonderful friends who who built this app for us, and um, and there's a lot on there. There's all kinds of uh, resources that you can find, um, many many different kinds of guided meditation. Uh, including many body scan meditations. So what's so special about those? Well, I want to talk a little bit more about the, uh, the, the body scan meditations that some of you may know. I've been offering some guided body scans um, that uh, seem to have something to do with neuroscience. It's a bit of a joke, really. I, I don't know how much it really has to do with neuroscience, but it's kind of just for my own amusement. But there you are, there's the Plum Village app. And uh, there, third from the top, you can see deep relaxation. You go in there. And there you'll see one that's called uh, Neuroscience Infused Deep Relaxation. Uh, and um, why is it neuroscience infused? Well, I hope to be able to show you with another picture. So um, let's see if that works. 
Yes, there it is. Uh, so let's let's go into this a little bit. Um, get myself out of the way. There we are. So what is this? Well, first of all, it's a picture of the brain. Um, and just to get you oriented, this is the front of the brain, and so this is the left hemisphere, and this is the right hemisphere. And then you can see these two strips, the blue one here and the sort of reddish pink one here. And these are both uh, maps of the body that exist in the brain. So the pinkish one, uh, it's not only on the uh, right hemisphere, it's obviously on, on both sides. It's just they've drawn it like this so that you can see both uh, of the maps on one page. So the pinkish red one is uh, the motor cortex, so that's involved in planning uh, movement and executing movement. But we're interested right now in the blue-gray one here, which is um, the somatosensory cortex. So that's the part of the brain that's active uh, when we're sensing or feeling the sensations in different parts of our body. And that doesn't just mean sensations arising from touch, that can be the internal sensations of uh, the various body parts. So you might think that there's not much going on if you're not um, you know, actively touching a part of your body, maybe there's not much sensation. But if you bring your mind to each part of your body, you will find that there is some sensation. So um, my question when I started pr this practice was what order should we scan the different parts of our body in? Um, you'll find that very often we just go from the top of the head to the, to the tips of the toes. Um, but when I did this over many years, I, I found quite often I would lose my concentration or maybe even fall asleep. It's easy to fall asleep when you're lying down. So I wondered, is there a better way to do this meditation? And when I discovered the cortical homunculus, I thought, hmm, it's interesting. The body is laid out in a particular way. What if we followed that sequence? Um, and this is where, you know, it's really just a hypothesis. And if you're a neuroscientist and you know I'm wrong or you know more, please uh, do let me know because uh, I do like being wrong. If I'm wrong, then I get to learn something, so that's always good. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the spirit of this. It's just kind of, you know, for fun, a loose hypothesis, and it's something that we can test as well with our own experience. So the idea is if we follow the sequence exactly as it is laid out in the brain then maybe it'll be easier to keep our concentration. And certainly um, that is that corresponds to my experience. Maybe I'm just convincing myself because, uh, uh, yeah, because I came up with this idea and I want it to work, but um, I want you to tell me if it works for you and then uh, maybe we see how effective it is. So there's a particular sequence, and you also notice that different parts of the body have different amounts of brain area dedicated to them, and that's natural. Um, if you think that uh, different parts of the body have different degrees of innervation, so obviously the more nerve endings you have in a part of the body, the more sensitive it is, the more signals are going to be coming to the brain, and the more brain you need to deal with all those signals. So essentially, yeah sensitivity corresponds to the amount of brain, um, at least in the somatosensory cortex. So uh, it's interesting, we start right down in the guts here. So it starts on the inside of the body. Um, we're basically a tube, right? So you, come, you can come up all the way through your, your guts, through the stomach, the esophagus, the pharynx to the root of the tongue and then to the tongue and obviously the tongue has a lot of brain because uh, the tongue has to deal with a lot of stuff and then from the tongue you go to the jaw it can be a lot of tension locked into the jaw it's always good to 
to release that. And then the gums are very sensitive, the teeth too. The lips are huge, look at how big the lips are. And then the nose, the eyes are pretty big, the forehead. But then this is what's interesting. You don't, uh, the, the body map doesn't start at the top and then go down face to the neck. It actually goes up, 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 up. And then from the forehead, it jumps to the thumb. Interesting. So the thumb is obviously very important in our evolution and uh, in our ability to deal with the world. So it has a lot of brain area devoted to it. And then the fingers uh, obviously have a lot to do. And then suddenly here we are with the forearm, the upper arm, the back of the head, not the face, the neck, the trunk, the hips, the knees, all of this uh, comparatively small area of the brain given you know the amount of body that we're covering so as we're doing the body scan I like to spend less time on those areas and more time on the face the hands the feet and then obviously the genitals uh, have quite a lot of nerve endings and there can be a lot of tension there too so it's important to pay attention there and relax there too and then you can actually go around again. You can go all the way up back up through the digestive system and you may find that your concentration is even stronger second time around. Um, so this is all kind of in the spirit of, uh, of training, training in uh, interoception. And like anything, um, it can be trained. And this ability, uh, the sort of, degree of resolution we have, the degree of concentration can grow and grow. Um, and uh, yeah, so I would love to know what you make of this. If, you're, uh, if you find your concentration is different, doing a typical sort of head to toes body scan or, or following the layout of the homunculus. Uh, it can also be interesting to try one side first, then the other side, activate the different hemispheres sequentially. Um, but we can uh, perhaps more about that another time. Anyway, so that's enough from me. Um, I do, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a chance to practice some body scan meditation at least once a day, even just five minutes. You'll find some shorter versions on the app as well. It can be really good to establish this as a daily practice um, as a way to, uh, to train our minds to come back again and again to the present moment and to the body. And then um, from the body, it's easier to go into the realm of the feelings and then the mind and then uh, our perceptions. It's hard to deal with all of those if our body is still filled with tension. So yes, we wish you luck and uh, please let us know how it goes. And uh, from all of us here in Plum Village, we are breathing with you, uh, holding the immense pain and difficulty of our current times in our hearts. And uh, yeah, from all of us here, we, we wish you peace, wish you to be well and to touch happiness. Thank you for watching.